Hello everyone, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Lavinia and I'm here with your November 14th to 20th, 2016 reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank you for your all your support and your best wishes. Continue to like, share and subscribe and show your love. For personal reading with me, visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com Book and purchase your readings. Email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com A full moon occurs on the 14th in the sign of Taurus. This comes as a reminder for us to consider our needs for comfort and security. This lunation serves to reawaken a vital interest in the physical world and our sensual needs and desires. We should watch for stubbornness at this time. Neptune forms a conjunction to the moon's south node this month and we can wrestle with avoidance problems. We may be making impractical choices, lacking common sense, or seeing things through the lens of wishful thinking. This aspect is exact on the 17th, but influences all month. Neptune turns direct on the 19th, and many of the illusions we have been holding on to begin to emerge. Confusing situations become clearer and our creativity soars, or at least we are more inclined to apply our creativity in the real world. Instead of thinking of this as a period of disillusionment, we can see it as a time of illumination when we increasingly see the light and become clearer, sharper, and more effective in the real world. We have more faith in our own dreams and visions, in others, and in our belief systems. We begin to seek inspiration from external sources. Capricorn, welcome to this week's reading. I will be using the Butterfly Oracle uh, by Doreen as well as a variation of my virtual decks for your reading. And um, God's promises for men and women to complete. So we start off with join in support and sobriety join in um new groups find new people who support your growth i'm feeling like this uh, you've been moving away from those situations and people that no longer serve you and it is now a call for you to join new groups find new people who support your growth who like-minded people so that you guys are able to share like-minded views and opinions for some um new love relationships new partners but join in it is um as you let go of all the old um you're being asked to find the new focus on bringing in the new uh, new people new relationships new friends yeah support yourself support others um trust yourself trust your intuition your internal guidance i'm feeling that lots of communication will be taking place for others this is a call to know that you have a spiritual team that you could call on and that can give you the guidance and assistance that you seek at this point in time know that um you don't need to do everything on your own it's time to ask for that support both spiritually and physically yeah but trust the guidance that you're receiving are divinely it's divine guidance from your team okay it's divine guidance as the next phase of your manifestation work okay connect with your body as um you will be getting intuitive hits intuitive information as to what to do next um, know that you have a strong spiritual team in your corner supporting the next phase of your mission sobriety a call for you to see things clearly as you trust yourself and the guidance that you are receiving clear guidance um sobriety for some this is a call to release addictions sexual addictions um drug addictions um food addictions you know what this means to you at this point in time but this is a call for you to um, for others, clear your mind through meditation, through prayer, so that you are able to see things clearly and make the right decisions and choices that could take you on to the next phase of your manifestation work. But be willing to head into the unknown, even though you're not sure where you're going.
we some of us may have difficulty seeing um, or secrets may be revealed and you may be disillusioned so we are really being asked to remain grounded and see things clearly uh, lots of feminine energies as mother moon you know the full moon mother moon is sending us a message this week um, to connect with the feminine side the feminine aspects of creation um, we start off the next phase of the um, uh, messages from the crystal wind oracle with earth mother isis in egyptian mythology isis is the matrix of eternal life all right mother sister wife a call to connect um, with the feminine aspects that rule creation this week nurturer the mother um, this could be you who's nurture the mother um, to others and for those of you whose mother who's entered the spirit world you're being asked to call on her for the guidance as to the next phase of your manifestation work all right and we have mother mary with us um, connect with the earth walk barefoot on the earth you know so that you could really connect with the energies of the earth um mother sister wife um your feminine side your softer side whether you masculine or feminine this is a week where you're being asked to call on your feminine side um, the nurturer the mother connect with your mother sister or wife girls night out um, the men find your mother your sister so that you guys could share that personal time this week um, so that um, you, your softer side could could show feminine sultry um, because you're being asked the entire focus for this week is getting off that wheel of karma head and heart connection as you take the next steps make the decisions and choices that will place you on the next phase of your manifestation work harming no one doing all in fairness transforming getting off that wheel of karma third eye chakra activation head and heart connection goddess poverty rules over the laws of cause and effect knowing that what you do or the path you take um to be of service or to be to be to to be of um doing good is what is going to follow you if you rotten you're 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 um you're you're malicious you're vindictive you you know this is the energy that's going to follow you and at this point of your manifestation work you don't want any negativity um to bring into your new beginnings because it's not going to benefit you it's not going to serve you so remain grounded know that what you do it's what you're going to manifest all right the good you do is what's going to follow you because when you follow the guidance you're being asked to surround yourself with beauty outdoors in nature really remain grounded with the earth and the changes that are taking place lots have happened you know within the past couple weeks lots of changes moving away from certain people certain groups or joining new groups joining those groups who which could assist you in moving forward but um you're being asked to surround yourself with beauty as you create magic work your magic you're learning to cultivate your inner beauty you enjoy life and do not fear it you cultivate beauty in your thoughts words and appearance your appearance home and relationships mirror your inner loveliness okay so work your magic get off that wheel of karma join those new groups join those groups find the people who support your growth ask for the support and guidance that you need both physically and spiritually with regard to the next phase of your manifestation work and get sober see things clearly clear your head through prayer meditation so you know exactly where are you heading where are you going um, connect with the feminine aspects of creation mother shataya earth energies food um, the food and drink of the earth the greens um, walk barefooted on the grass on the soil really connect assist the earth in raising to the next vibratory level bringing in the new know that whatever you do is what's going to follow you uh, get off that wheel of karma all right and 
work your magic, create magic within and so that it could escalate in your surroundings. All right. Amazing energies surround you. I'm feeling for you. It's lots of prayer meditation. You may be doing a lot socially, joining groups, going out, socializing. But call on that support. You have it both spiritually and physically. And um, remember, like, share, and subscribe for a personal reading with me. Um, check out the links in the description box below. Have an amazing week. See you.